Street is. Yeah, because he did it's, the whole. It's been a down. Yeah, it's Ron been five Donny? minutes. Oh my god! What? Hi everybody, <laughs> welcome welcome to uh, the Danger Cuties on this lovely 9th of September. Yeah. Hi. He starts the music. It, it would be the 12th. Is oh uh, sorry, I'm looking at the calendar and the nine came first. Shut up. Yeah, because <laughs> September is the is the ninth month. We live in America. <laughs> we do. Sorry to spoil that for you. I know yeah. I, it hurts me too. It pains me too. Oh, that's funny, Mortal Crux. I suspect you're not the only one who is still tabbed here from earlier, from our four hours epic live stream already today. I don't know what that means. What do you mean you were still tabbed here? The tab was still open, so. Oh. Yay! You sound like you're kind of far away from the microphone. My microphone is right the fuck here. No, it's not. No. It's you should check in Skype. Yeah. Wow, you held it up to your mouth and nothing changed. Yeah. Are you using your webcam mic? I mean, I'm using my laptop and it does whatever the fuck it wants to do. <laughs> I mean, give me a sec, I guess. It's okay. Take your time. Yeah. Let's uh, let's go around the table and introduce ourselves. Let's start with Hiccup. Uh, hey guys, I'm... <laughs> that would be it. That's all I was <laughs> I did bad. I did bad. I did bad job. I'm fixing it. You're fine. You're fine. It's Kirsten, or Myriad. Whatever you want to call me is fine. I am playing, obviously, Hiccup, uh, my, our little Kenku wizard. Uh, I am an artist and a Twitch streamer. Uh, Myriad underscore X is where you can find me pretty much everywhere. And I'm also the social media manager for Freighters Rejects. So when you see the little post with those go out, that's usually me posting it. Uh, give it a like. Give it a... A retweet, give it a comment, whatever you want to do. Okay. And if it's wrong, it's, it's either me or Papa Prater that screwed it up. True. <laughs> I will not take responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Ella. Is this, I, I, is this any better? Is this different? No. Uh, no, it no. sounds exactly the same. Just go into Skype and, and do uh, audio settings and see which one you have it set to. I, I tried. I changed it. And it asked. Uh, no, they don't care. <laughs> the computer does not care. Do you only just talk loud? That that's that's fine. Just be your, be your normal, <laughs> lovely self. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be a little bit loud, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be a little bit loud because I have to be loud for D and D, okay? Okay, I love you. You're you're required to be loud for D and D. I'm required to be loud for D and D. I am Ella Darling. I play Pepsi Pepsi Baxter. <laughs> I know who I play. Don't get in my way. No, I am Pepsi Max. I am a bard, and I am a singer, and I play the pan flute with my friends, and we have a cool band called Only Pants, and I am really excited to be here, and I'm also a cheerleader, and I also have a kanku that hangs out in my horns. Did I mention I have, like, cool horns? You can't see them, but they're there, and there's also a kanku there, and you can't see her, but she is there, and... Check me out, elladarling.com. My OnlyFans is free to subscribe. And I'm a dork there, just like I'm a dork here, but I'm a naked dork over there. So there's that. Awesome. So, naked dork, OnlyFans, Pepsi Maxson, Bard, Seder. Take your meds. No, I forgot to, I forgot to take my meds today. I, that's what I went inside to do before stream started, so. And get bourbon. Shocking. Yeah, I did forget to take that, so I'm sorry. Uh, ADHD knows. It knows. It never forgets. All right, Bodit. Uh, hi, everybody. I am Clover Beat, and I play Maudit. Uh, she is your favorite uh, horticulturist and, and, uh, could be classified as a witch, and um, both she and I are in an, in an incredibly humid physical location <laughs> at the moment, uh, which is not where we are meant to be. <laughs> All right, I'll buy that. Uh, hello, it is I, DM. Uh, I am your dungeon master. My name is Seth Polanski. I do other things like like run a law firm and make movies. I will drop this in the chat because I have to. My Kickstarter ends for our D Magic the Gathering documentary tomorrow at 11 p.m. So if you have not backed, please back. 
merch. If you back at a certain level, you can wear matching t-shirts with some of the cast. <laughs> if you are watching this now, or in general, or ever, in time, and you back Seth's Kickstarter, I will send you a video of me with my boobs out doing something interesting. <laughs> Aww. That's I love how vague that is, because you that can be like, friendship. well, I'm building a shelf. <laughs> and you know what? Boobs out building a shelf makes dollars, babe. Like, fuck it. I mean, no, boobs I mean, plus anything makes dollars, really. I, if you... You message me on OnlyFans and you message me the title of this film. And <laughs> that means screenshot that you backed it. I will send you. Look, you're gonna like it. Oh, that really—that's friendship, man. When your friends will send you naked pics. Friendship on the edge. That's good friendship. <laughs> awesome. All right. In, on in 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 that same vein of fr friendship, shall I uh, explain what happened last week and not put any of you on the spot? Oh my God. Right. Yeah. Unless anyone would like uh, a luck die to explain what happened last week. Uh, <laughs> no. I want a luck die. Come on. All right. Miriam, tell us what happened last Hold week. Hold on. Hold on. Let me look at my fucking notes. <laughs> Hold fucking on. Notes. Uh, what did we do? Oh. Oh. We had, uh, we, we had a nice fun um, party and we did drugs. Um, <laughs> we did do drugs. Uh, and then, uh, some cultists attacked us, but, uh, they got their shit pushed in because they didn't think that us nerds could fight so good, but we did. Is that a phrase that, 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 that Hiccup uses? Yeah, they got their shit pushed in. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, Hiccup does just repeat phrases that she has already heard. I'll buy that, yes. yeah. I mean, so Hiccup may have just that's... walked by South Boston at some point. Um... <laughs> Uh, and then, so we defeated them, and then, uh, we found some gold, and there's some scimitars, and then we found a necklace with a minotaur and a lightning bolt, which apparently is, like, the cult that they were a part of, uh, and then, uh, we woke up the next morning, and we went to, uh, the, uh, the, the, the... Uh, temple of Karamitra, right? Do you yeah. remember the, the, uh, cult? And it was, isn't really a cult so much as, uh, a god of slaughter? It, it was Mogis. Mogis, the god of slaughter. One person's religion is another person's cult, so I really feel like you're like rearranging deck chairs. It's yeah. like you live in the United States or something. Weird. Shocking. Uh, and then <laughs> we, uh, so we met, apparently, uh, something that Pepsi's mom failed to tell us about was that uh, Pepsi had to basically uh, uh, c compete in order to win the honor question mark we don't really know if it's quite an honor or not of going up against typhon uh so we met uh basilios Mar marotis uh who is another satyr Meneus and rathis a minotaur and the spigel spigel sabelle sabelle uh who were like a bunch of cloaked women Yep, and you did figure yeah, out so that uh, they were from they're, they're emissaries of the Stragani, and they are yeah, Gorgons. Seers and, seers and or not Gorgons, I'm sorry, they were um, uh, harpies. harpies. Harpies, thank you. We got harpies, we got more Minotaur nerds, we got <laughs> other satyrs, um, and then we got us, which. Um, I mean, okay. you're a, sat a satyr, an Aladrin. Uh, Kenku, a no one's human except Senzan. I mean, I'm half human. <laughs> look, if okay. you look at just my upper body, you'd be cool. Also, yeah. like, it feels very much like all of us are, uh, like, nobody wants to be here. It's all like, well, you have to join in the party because it would be very disappointing to your father <laughs> if you didn't. I'm just here because I like you guys. Like, that's all, like, this shit my parents threw on me. Like, I get it. I love my parents. They're great. They did their best. But, like, I'm just here because I want to be here. Like, I just like you. So, Aww. I think I just hurt my own feelings. Aww. Wait, so if you're only here because we're here, and we're only here because your parents are making you be here, then why are we here? Do you want to, like, bug off? 
<laughs> I'm, I'm going to remind you why you're here. There's the whole world is going to enter some bullshit. The, uh, the elder horror that you released from its prison. Yeah, but there's three other groups who want to fight it. Like, do we get something if we fight it and beat it? Quite Probably. likely. I mean, experience. Maybe a level up. <laughs> you keep pushing. Yeah, I mean, like, look, my parents would be super disappointed. Like, my parents actually don't suck. And I don't want them to be disappointed. I mean, they've done a lot of things that they could be very reasonably, rationally <laughs> disappointed in. And they still somehow like me. Who knows? So I, um, I am gonna just keep pushing on it. You know, I, I'd like to get high with you, and my parents have really cool drugs. Like they gave me the key; they officially gave me the key to the cool drugs. They did. See, you remember <laughs> yeah. stuff. Yeah, I remember getting the key to the cool drug room, and you know what else I remember? Nothing. <laughs> that's because that's because you got the key to the cool drug room. room. Exactly. The cool drug room. And we did some cool drugs. And they were cool drugs. And we did it allowed. We were allowed. And you actually I still managed to d defend I yourself against the cultists. Yeah, I didn't even get out of bed. Yeah, man. Except like, for uh, Pepsi, who ran away and, and tattled on them to find... Well, they were being... <laughs> meanie heads. They were being meanie heads. And All right. If you remember, we left off last time, you were at the uh, Temple of Karamitra. Everyone else had made their claim, saying, you know, we, we think we have a claim and we're better uh, suited to fight Typhon than you are. And the High Priestess Olympia and your mother, Dr. Piper Maxton. Dr. Piper. Dr. Piper Maxton. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they both made it clear that they put their trust and their faith in you, and you are the most well-suited to defend the realm from uh, Typhon. Nepotism. Yes. Yeah. Right. So, that said, this was a... Uh, you were released to mingle with the other participants in the, uh, in the games prior to the game's commencement this afternoon. Oh yeah, we were gonna eavesdrop of your conversation. Oh yeah, I was buckled down in your uh, horns. Yeah, and I had Erica just like creeping on their legs, trying to like psychologically freak them out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Who were uh, who were we talking with first? Your your friend, the slimy, sleazy Vasilios Merodus, the other satyr. Drake McDouche. Hey, hey, you know, he's no, uh, wait, where is he? Where is he? He's no Quintilius Antiphon Melantor the Third. Suppose I suppose uh, right. Fuck that guy. How do they manage to make somebody look so pretentious? Oh my god, like, the, the mouth. They, that had to have been based off of somebody they went to high school with. Okay, it's really funny, because he's not actually supposed to be a douchebag in the game, but, like, you took one picture, you took one look at him and decided, and I'm like, all right, I guess I gotta run with that. Yeah, well, like, I'm sure everybody in the game thinks he's a really nice guy. Would <laughs> never think he could do such a thing. Right? It's always the nice guys who, yeah. you know, end up ruining yeah. women. Yeah. I mean, like, can't ruin his future. No, certainly <laughs> I mean, not. Beat him to it. Beat him to it, dare you. Um, okay, so I see in Owlbear, like, four people. Uh, you that... don't need to be in Owlbear Rodeo yet, but if, I mean, it's the arena. So okay. you're not, you're just in, a, you're in the, the main chamber of the Temple of Karametra right now. There are low divans all around you. There is incense wafting through the air. The walls are open to the elements, but they're about there, 30 or 40 feet high. It's it's is, everything you think a Greek temple looks like. There's incense? There's yeah. incense. What type of incense? Is it, is it regular uh, incense? Is it magical it is, incense? It is regular incense. Is it creating a smoke? If you want to do something with it, by all means, feel free. Um, I have a very stupid feature. Yes, I'm here for your stupid feature. Is, is, it, stupid. is it here? Do I have it yet? Or is it next... 
is it next spell? I don't I don't know, but uh, I, I need you to give me a quick uh, wisdom check. Just give me straight up wisdom roll. Uh, straight up whiz, straight up whiz. Nope, not that button. Is it this button? It's this button. <laughs> Eighteen. Yeah, uh, might be a really bad idea to do something untoward in the temple to a god uh, while all of their followers are around. I'm not doing anything untoward. Just I just quiet. have a feature that says I can shape smoke in any manner I choose before it floats away. I, I, how did I know? How? How did I know that was the first place you were going to go? <laughs> that was not going to be where I was going to go, but if all of my friends know that I can do this and they're telling me that I can... <laughs> oh my god! Then I'm just gonna walk around making ev all the smoke in the room just weirdly phallic in my trail. Can I press the digitate? You don't, make I, do you have press the digitation? I have press the digitation, Esquire. Oh. All right. Can I well, press the digitate and make it so the cums look like they're like throbbing and then coming? <laughs> can I do it? Look, I live here. You do, I live, and I, I think that- I have the chosen one. Let me make some dicks come. There you go. Go to town. I'm going to cut this, by the way, at some point. I'm going to cut this right next to the- I'm going to twerk into the Hall of the Storm Lord. It, we're very <laughs> respectful of other cultures. It's called style, Esquire. Look it up. All right. Oh, yeah. How do I roll to press a digitate to make the dicks come? You don't have to. You don't I, have to. You just uh, do it. It just happens. I mean, story of my life. All right. Uh, some, I want, I'm going to make a uh, uh, myriad roll for this one. Just roll me a d20. Tell me what you get. 15. All right. You catch, uh, you all catch out of the corner of your eye, Dr. Piper Maxton kind of giggling. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I like give a little thumbs up to mom like, hey. Mom appreciates a good dick joke. I mean, I knew I was gonna be popular amongst the satyrs. Like, if 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 a weed witch isn't gonna be popular anywhere, it's not gonna My be a bunch of drugs. At this point, adopted you as her own, and like, I'm <laughs> not sure if she likes you more than she likes me, and I don't blame her. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. Wait, what was your sister's name? We came up with it last day, last game. Was uh, it Tipsy? Tipsy. Tipsy. Tipsy, Tipsy Maxton. Yeah. So Tipsy's there as well, and and she and mom are are tittering in the corner at the, uh, trying not to make themselves a spectacle. Yeah. The other contestants, Vasilios and and his team, uh, Manaeus and his team, and Sabelle and her team are milling around the room. Uh, Sabelle and the the Harpy team do not appear to be talking to any other people or contestants, but uh, you hear the Minotaur boasting about he'll he'll make everyone in this room eat their words, and and he is obviously the most qualified. Um, it's 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 you don't even have to try. It's obviously it's carrying across the whole room. Um, that's what's going on around you right now. There are refreshments being served, fresh wine, fresh fruit, cheese, olives, very Mediterranean. Yes. I, do right. you ever hear him saying that? No I, the whole room hears him saying that. Olives, fresh fruit, wine, pork belly, risky whiskey, mama toppings. You got it. Nana toppings, whatever the fuck her name is. <laughs> She's mama yeah. toppings now. No. Uh, Ollie, Ollie's <laughs> Mandy's not Ollie, watching. All of these words, Nana toppings. Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? <laughs> Step on me, Camilla. No. Step on me, Camilla. <laughs> you, um, I'll, I'll share I, the link at some point. I think I was elected to go talk to the Harpies because we both have feathers, wasn't I? Yes. We, once again, very respectful of other cultures. <laughs> That's one word for it. Um... um I'm gonna go over to the harpies and be like, "Hello, fellow bird people." Uh, Sabelle looks down at you with yellow eyes and and a sharp hooked mouth, and just sort of. You wouldn't think that someone with a beak could sneer, yet it looks awfully like a sneer. Uh, and she simply says, "What?" 
We are supposed to socialize. I am socializing with you. God, I love Pika. I see. Um, is there something in particular you wanted? Oh, no, I just thought I'd chat. I don't really see a lot of other bird people around here, so I thought it'd be nice to chat to a fellow bird person. I see. Um, run along, Dal. <laughs> You're very rude. I hope you lose. <laughs> I'm gonna walk away. <laughs> Um, if it makes sense in the story, I would like to just, like, kind of give you a little pat on the back and, like, I'll be right back up under my arms and, like, I'm gonna glare at those little cunts and, like, kind of take them off a little bit. Like, don't be fucking rude to, uh, it's just fucking kinky. Don't be an asshole. When, when Pepsi glares, like, Hiccup kind of puffs her little feathers up and, like, try to make her look, herself look bigger and also glares. <laughs> yeah, babe. Fuck those assholes. Don't boots. They're right. jerks. I would love to go talk to somebody. I'm trying to decide if I should go talk to the Minotaurs or if I should go talk to the other douchey satyrs. I will talk to the douchey satyrs because, like, there's nothing that they can dish that I can't take. Okay, then I want to go bother some cowboys. And you remember, Pepsi, I think we went through this last week, you remember uh, Vasilios from your days in training as a, a bard that he is nowhere near as good as you are with regard to, to musical prowess. Other areas, who knows, but you know that you can, you know, play circles around him. Um, we, we appear to have it. Oh, yeah, on. thanks for the follow. Thank you. Yay! Thank you so much. What are Sorry. you? <laughs> I'm gonna let Money do her thing. Okay. Okay, uh, okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just gonna walk up and... So I, I am, I have my large hat. My large hat always has a, a stick of incense burning. Okay. My, my stick of incense is, is in fact mad. Um, and I... Oh, so I don't want to use any of my things, but I would like it to just smell bad currently. <laughs> okay. Um, and I'm not going to introduce myself, but I am just going to walk up and stare whoever is the, the leader or whatever directly in, in his face. Uh, I, that, I recognize that I'm smaller. That would be Vasilios, and uh, he is well-dressed, He's a satyr, and he is looking a little bit down at you, and he says, "Yes, can can we help you?" Oh no, I I was going up to the to the minotaurs. Oh, the minotaurs. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> That's a different story. Ella was, was going to go to the satyrs. Got it. All right. Uh. One of the Minotaur, the lead Minotaur, who introduced himself as Menaeus, seems to be the uh, leader of the group, and he looks at you and says, mm, you smell bad. I look, uh, I'm still looking at him, and I, and I go, mm, so do you. Ha! <laughs> Drink! He hands out a, a horn. I, I take it. Does he have one? Oh, yeah. I mean, he's, uh, he's drinking mead like it's like there's no tomorrow. I raise it to him, and I take a sip. He takes a sip as well. He toasts you and and says, "What are what are you doing with with that team? Why why what what's why do they matter? I I, I understand there's some sort of birth prophecy, 
How could they possibly beat us? And he looks around. There's three other minotaurs, seven feet tall, hulking, muscular, and and they're they're sort of laughing. Uh, I explained to him that, granted, he has a, a physical advantage, but Karametra does not only value uh, physical prowess. This is not the house of, um, oh, fuck. Who's the the god of athletics and and the games? Uh, that's probably Helios. But um, I don't know if you yeah. would know that. No, but like, we were told that Karametra was the goddess of bounty uh, and harvest and you know matronly protection. Exactly, which to me means not just brute strength. Endurance. You, that's reasonable to infer that you would understand that Karametra values endurance. And, yeah. You know. So, as so I tell him, like, I'm not from here, but I have a feeling it's, it's not just going to be about strength. It might, it might have some uh, some tricks. And if I there's see. tricks, I think my friend might might have the advantage. He laughs and says, <laughs> Karamitra, oh no, no. When we win, we will slaughter the Hydra in Mogis' name. I, oh. So he does admit that it's for Mogus, which is interesting. Um, I, I look at him and I say, I look forward to, to meeting you, uh, during the challenges. It'll be fun. Strange. Being beaten is fun? I like. I know where you fuckers are going with that. Shut up. <laughs> I I start walking away and I'm like, <laughs> winning is fun. And then, uh, my signature move, Erica poops on his shoe <laughs> as we walk away. <laughs> you got it. Uh, and... He does take a, a kick at, at Erica. What is Erica's armor class? Uh, oh God, what is it? It's higher than mine. Uh, <laughs> da, 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 where is Erica? Fifteen. All right. He rolled a three, so even with his plus <laughs> seven, he is not going <laughs> to hit Erica. He's just trying to like shoo the pest away and stop the pest from pooping on his boot. Little does he know that if you kick Erica, more poop comes out. <laughs> Wait, so does Erica sufficiently like poop on his boot? Yes, Erica, Erica, Erica the Pest poops on the Minotaur's boot. There's a phrase I never Erica, thought I would ever utter in my Erica's life, but sure. Like? Is it like Why don't you tell me? Yeah, what's the, what's the consistency? Is Erica's poop like, Maudie? Uh, okay? It's it's like. It's like that poop that uh, rabbits have that they need to re-eat. It's like that, that <laughs> thick and viscous, uh, very dark brown poop. It's sticky. Mm. Um, oh, so like, God bless you guys. It has some staying power. Yeah. It's got some real stick to it in this. It's got some <laughs> shit behind it. Yeah. And because she is a carrion feeder, uh, it does smell very, very bad. Okay. I, I, I do believe it is my turn. Yep. And I'm going to just look over at that lizard scoff and be like, couldn't wear some clean boots today, huh? Bummer. Are you actually trying to taunt him or are you like really trying to taunt him or are you just trying to deliver it in I'm passing? I'm just being a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cheerleader, okay? You, you succeed. Pepsi succeeds in being a total bitch. If you want me to roll to be a cunt, <laughs> believe me, I will roll all day long, darling. My question is, are you trying to incite him to violence or anything? No, I don't want to start. I, I just want to make him feel like I fucking showed because he was just mean to my friend. If you we incite are, him you to succeed. Friends, I'm not even going to make you roll for that. Thank you. Yeah, does you are a bard. Bad? You succeed. He doesn't does he feel, feel bad. bad. He's, he's, he's angry and embarrassed. Do other people think that he's kind of a loser, though? Give me a perception check. Let me give you a perception check. Oh, oh. 
Yeah, you can all give me perception checks. Plus three. I can I help influence. Jeez, do I have to fucking log in? Yeah, I need to log in. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just look, Seth. I'm not saying you told me to do CC cleaner. I just I happen to have CC cleaner, and so I ran it, and then it fucked up my entire life. You you press have... you press the button that you shouldn't have pressed. I you know what? It does a good job for me though. <laughs> but apparently um, not. Uh, you know, it's probably faster yeah, for me just to grab a d20. Yep. Uh, you want me to just roll? So you said a, a perception check? Yep. Yeah, just roll it. Someone roll it. Uh, what's your bonus? Probably plus three. Plus three. Yeah. So you've got 13 plus... Oh, you never mind. So anyone who rolled over 15, which would actually be Pepsi and Maudit, Oh, and particularly uh, Hiccup. As you look around the room, here's what you glean from the interactions between the priestess, the priests, priestesses, the four different parties, uh, Pepsi's parents. When the priests and priestesses look at Menaeus and the Minotaur representatives, they're worried about something. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're worried about <laughs> when they when they're considering Sibel, they are disdainful, and when they're considering Vasilios, they uh, thoughtful. It's it's a thoughtful look about them. Wait, can you can you rewind and like when... sure. Sorry. Uh, Sorry, I'm... Yep. Sibel and the Harpies is disdainful. They are considering uh, Menaeus, the Minotaur, and his contingent with worry. And they are looking at Vasilios, the the other satyr, with uh, thoughtfulness and consideration. Uh, Hiccup, since you rolled ridiculously high... um, you know, their body language seems to suggest that they might might have made a mistake, and maybe the prophecy refers to him and not her. I had Erica shit on the wrong shoe. <laughs> you do remember, though. Remember last game? When Olympia leaned over and kissed you on the cheek and told you that you were the chosen, you were Karametra's chosen, at the very least. Mm-hmm. Me? Mm-hmm. I do. Hey, Matt. Is there anything else you guys would like to do before uh, the games begin? Um. I want to talk to the other the satyrs. Um, okay. Just like, hey guys, what's up? Uh, I mean, nonplussed, not cocky, just like, hey guys, so this is weird, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, Vasilios greets you warmly, more warmly than you expected him to, and uh, okay. says, you know, uh, I'm, I'm sorry I'm here. Um, You're welcome to be here. Too. Yeah, I didn't particularly want to, but the order made me come, so it is what it is. I can be here, it's fine. Like, I don't care. The, well, the, the honor is yours. The honor should be yours. I am I am here to fulfill a... a I don't care. But like, I'm so glad you're here. It's nice to have a friendly face. Thank a you. I'm, face. I'm. Yeah, of right? course, of course. Yeah, like, I, like, none of this. I'm not like I. Uh, none of this happened because I decided it was going to happen. Everything happening is just kind of uncomfortable and weird for me. So I'm really glad you're here. I hope that at the end of the day, good shit happens, and. Um, I don't really feel like competitive about this. This is just something that I'm doing because like it feels like I need to do it. So like, if I do it, if you do it. Um, I don't know. I just, 
you know what? At the end of the day, I just want to get high with my friends back in my dorm, and I really love to be back in my dorm getting high with my friends. So, like. All right. He he looks cool. at you like he 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 understands everything you're saying, and you know he says honestly, I I really would rather not be here too, but I guess we just got to make the best of it. No, like do your thing, do your shit, do your best. We're all gonna do our best. Like we're all like, what are we fighting for? Are we all fighting to be like, oh my gosh, the champion? Like I guess so. Whatever. Who gives a shit? At the end of the day, there's something that needs to be achieved and acquired and like handled. So as long as it's done, as long as like at the end of the day, I'm gonna get high with my friends in my dorm, and that's the prize that my eye is on. All right. Um, he says you know. Obviously, we're gonna do the things that have to be done. You know, saving. Gotcha. I gotta get your audio up a little bit, cause uh, Culvert, oh, I'm sorry, man. Culvert grooming her dog is actually <laughs> louder than you talking. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that's no, okay. that's me. That's on me and my shitty mic situation. I, I was okay. like, we're, I was so proudly shouting as soon as we started, and then I just started mumbling. It's again, all good. Just, like, we we heard most of it. We we heard most of it. Mumblecore bit part. <laughs> Mumblecore. That, that's. The genre that I'm moving into, I'm just mumblecore. Yeah, core. Pepsi's gonna start releasing mumblecore uh, albums. Yeah. yeah, sorry about it. Um, so he's yeah, he's I, yeah. he replies to this whole this whole conversation, and his demeanor is respectful. He really is apologetic. He doesn't really want to take any honor from you. Um, you know, he just says, "I, you know, the order made me come, and I, I have to do this. I'm sorry." Why are you sorry? Look, I don't get honor. I was forced. Like, I I didn't choose this. I was informed that I was informed that I was volunteering for this. So, like, I, I this is none of this is on me. If you tried to, like, one up me, if you tried to start a competitive band to the only Pam, then I would have some fucking beef with you. But, like, I didn't choose this for myself. This is not my choice. This is not my endeavor. This is something that I'm doing because apparently I was called to do it. Like, we don't have beef, bro. Like, yes, you have to be here because someone told you to. Ditto kiddo. Like, as you are, have, as you're saying this to him, uh, you hear this deep thrumming sound of, sounds like ram's horns blowing off in the distance. The high priestess comes over to you, Olympia, and says, "It's it's time. We should all make our way to the to the Grand Amphitheater, and uh, Arkelios will will start the games." Yeah. All right. You make your way across the town, and uh, you are led into a small room under the amphitheater. You're not sure the crowd. There are crowds lining the street as you make your way there. The amphitheater looms in front of you, but you're not really sure how how big it is. They lead you into a small room underneath the amphitheater. It is lined with weapons, armor, shields. They're all in racks around the walls. The floor is dirt and sand. Um, looks like there's been some bodies dragged through the sand. Um, sun so, streams through cracks in the wooden double doors. Yeah. So would these be games to the death, then? I, none of you guys asked any questions about the games in the last half hour. So you don't why know. Are, we're at a school. <laughs> why, why would my mom be like, yeah, let's sign her up for a game to the death? Why you, would I ever think you would be, you're pretty assured that these are not games to the death. Okay. I mean, why wouldn't they be? They're volu- They're games to fight for who gets to fight the giant murder Hydra. Yeah, but why do we all have to die for that? Like, if everybody wants to fight it so bad, why would we kill off the people who also want to fight it so bad? True, I don't understand why they don't just draw straws. Yeah. It's, but it's, uh, what's the D&D equivalent of Christmas? <laughs> Yule? It's Yule. Yule probably. D&D equivalent, okay, but it's Yule. Why would we be Yule killing people? Yule means y'all. That means all y'all. of us. 
<laughs> there is no reason to believe that this would be a uh, to the death issue, right? You can be pretty well safe in the you can rest safe in the assumption that your mom would have told you if this was a duel a, a contest to the death. Yeah, yeah true. She probably. Say, I, I think my mom would have told me if I had to fight to the death. Like, hey. yeah, she kind of fucked up on not telling me some shit that she should have, but like, like she's my mom and stuff. I'm gonna <laughs> be honest though, those Minotaur look like they're up to no good, so I think we might have to kill them. Like, right, like, um, we might. No, I'm we like, just accidentally kill people. I'm not opposed to killing some douchey Minotaurs. I'm just saying, I don't think we have to, and I don't think we have to die. Oh, no, no. I don't think it's a zero-sum game. I'm just saying, like, it's maybe a Minotaur sum game. I think we just have to mentally prepare ourselves for taking another life, you know? Can oh, you, you have to, you have to prepare? I, some people do. Okay. Yeah, I think, um, if a bitch wants to fuck around, then they might find out. All right. 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 Cool, let's do this. All right, as, uh, as, as you're having this conversation, do you think we're going to have to fight to the death? Aurora's there with you, by the way. And, uh, <laughs> Aurora. Aurora should be like, ah. Uh, she's God, just hanging out. Eat on blood, right? She does not. You've never seen her. Feed on we, blood. we discussed it. We discussed it. She feeds on psychic energy. Oh, okay. Um, you have seen her rip people's throats out, but you really haven't seen cool. her eat it. Okay, cool. So she's bitching as fuck. But like, <laughs> how do we, like, how do we make this work for her? I just like, I just feel like if we have the room, maybe we can feed our friend a little bit if we can, if it makes sense. I thought it was kind of. Like an addict situation. Yeah, she, she really made it very clear that she does not want that because she's afraid of what might happen to her if she does. Okay, thank you. Erica bodies. Yeah, Erica's our garbage disposal. Yeah, we can help Erica. I'm just, see, see, Aurora also has a lot of energy. Like, she's like, I'm gonna go outside. We're all just looking out for the planet because in this the fictional, in this right. fictional world, there's still hope. There is. And on that note, you uh, hear a, a, a roar from the crowd outside. And it swells into cheers and shouts. And the double doors swing open uh, at the end of the room. And taking taking your cue, obviously, you step up a short flight of stairs and into the arena. You are blinded as you reach the top of the ramp. Let me flip over to the map scene. Wait, are we looking at that? Uh, you don't need to yet. Okay. You can keep floating your laundry. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you're blinded as you reach the top. It's it's maybe about one or two in the afternoon. The sun is almost directly overhead. And the roar of the crowd, it's even louder. Thousands of people line the stone steps around the arena. Uh, they're wearing robes and togas, dressed in the traditional Theros fashion. Uh, on the opposite side of the ovular arena, you see who Pepsi points out to you as the ruler of the pol polis, Archelios Cirillo, in his shaded imperial box. His hair cascades in deep black waves down his shoulders. Uh, he stands up and walks to the front of the box, stepping onto a podium and raises his hands, and the roar of the crowd subsides. He looks around the arena with a beaming smile it's obvious why he's in charge. He is super charismatic. Um, he says, Our polis has been plagued by evil. A beast has been released from the underworld. It has destroyed our crops, killed our people and our livestock, leaving a wake of destruction in its path. This vicious beast has slain every warrior who's dared to face it. But worry not, the gods themselves have sent us heroes to defeat this beast once and for all. The crowd roars again and he claims with another raised hand, but which of these heroes deserve the be glory of defeating the beast? Only one group may claim this honor and receive my blessing and the blessing of the gods. There will be three trials today. Our heroes must complete each one. Each round's winner will be granted an, adva an advantage in the next round. And each round's loser will be eliminated from competition. 
He looks around and says, let the games begin! And the crowd erupts into uh, thunderous applause. A, a uh, what looks to be a servant in a plain white robe comes over to you and says, are, are, are you ready? Are, are, you, are you ready? I, I need four. The, 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 the chariot can handle four. Yeah, Round one some... appears to be a chariot race. Oh boy! Uh... A chariot race? Are you uh, fucking kidding me? Nope. Like, a chariot race. Shit. Is is any of us being the horse, or are we all on the, the chariot? You were the the chariot will handle four people in the um, the chariot side. You the horses are provided. Seth, you can tell me to fuck off. Sure. I should say, like, I mean, my parents, like, we we live at this, like, my parents run this inn, but it's a pretty well-to-do, like, there are some pretty ballin' ass chariots coming through, and so, like, <laughs> I, growing up, I was super tight with the valets, and, like, the rich are, are you gonna be are you gonna be Karen saying that that chariot isn't good enough for me? No, I'm saying that like I would hang out with the valets and the rich fucks would drop off their chariots and we would fucking race those fuckers <laughs> and like I'd be every one of those motherfuckers like I race a chariot like um, a beast like I mean, perfect these people they came through all the time and like I was pretty fucking. I mean, I don't want to brag or anything, but I'm going to brag. I own bones at chariot racing. Um, at least um, amongst the staff at my parents' resort. Aurora speaks up and says, she's like, she says, I, 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 I'm pretty good at animal handling. Hell yeah, girl. Yeah, I just pulled that out of my ass. I have nothing to say for that. I don't even know if I can log into D&D Beyond. So... <laughs> You know, that's where I'm standing. Uh, so just out of curiosity, I'm going to say Senzan and... Not even out of curiosity. I'm going to executively decide that Senzan and Theris will be uh, cheering you on from the stands. Oh, yeah. That gives us advantage. Okay. So I believe that does leave you with four, correct? Yes. And I would like to put Erica... On the horse. Um, can I preemptively cast Mage Armor? You may preemptively cast Mage Armor, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, same. <laughs> um, Just in case, you know. One. But if I did, I would. Uh, I think you have actual armor, so you're. Yeah, you have actual, like, yeah. leather armor. Yeah. yeah. You don't have armor. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That would just make you better. It'd be redundant. Yep. So the gate at the Coliseum entrance opens, and uh, four chariots are led onto the sand. And somebody roll me percentage dice. I cannot. Mm -mm. Um, you got it? Yeah, 83. 83, so that would be the fourth percentile. You are in... Chariot B at the top. Chariot. So you, you are the farthest away from the inside track you can be. Oh, yay. Yep. So Chariot B, I'm going to change to party. I straight up, like, I can't sign in to be It's straight up not letting me. I might have to lean on you guys to vote for me. Gotcha. I'm gonna have to walk you through your tech too, because you're so quiet. We could we could do oh, the break. Jesus, I'm sorry, dude. I can talk louder. No, that's okay. I, you know what? I'm I'm failing every which way. Aww. I mean, I can hear like I can hear you. Obviously, like you're a little low, but Got I it. mean, I can still hear you. So. Oh, okay. yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we can hear you. It's just you're real quiet. Yeah, um, I'm sorry. Why don't we? Actually, uh, it's nine. Let's take our quick 
10 minute break and okay. I need more bourbon and I'm going to restart my computer and that might do something. Yep. And when we come back, let me t give you the tech for it, right? Just so you can, in, in the back of your brain. Uh, it's going to be an animal handling check. And you're going to be looking for... Uh, 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 you're going to look for animal handling and dexterity for this one. So figure out who is going to be guiding the chariot and who's going to be assisting. Okay. Um... All right. Let us hit our intermission. We'll be back in 10 minutes, folks. And don't talk until I turn off the thingy. Hey. No, that's not big enough. Talking. No, that's not big enough either. That's more like it. We're delighted to have you with us. To add to your enjoyment, we're all wound up to bowl you over at intermission time with live wire service at our snack bar, where you'll find a tempting variety of favorite foods and beverages. Now it's showtime, folks. And you can be sure it's the best show in town. Your continued patronage is very, very welcome. Setting up shop. We got a cleric paladin who is also setting up shop. We're gonna call our consortium Praetor's Haberdashery Consortium. We don't sell hats. Is we don't sell hats part of the name? No, I just thought I'd clarify. Oh, I like it better if it was part of the name. Yeah, me too. Oh, oh, that would be want, very I mean, funny. I mean, I'm the head of it, so like I could, we could add that to the name. Yeah, we will then. We're gonna have shirts made. I gotta get their portraits <laughs> all put together, and we're gonna have merchandise. Oh my god! This is gonna be awesome. Raiders Haberdashery Consortium. Parentheses. We don't sell hats. I would buy one of those shirts. It's intermission. Rise and stretch time. Time to refresh yourself and visit our snack bar. Got a yen for hot popcorn? Your favorite soft drinks are sparkling cold. The juicy Frank sizzling hot. There's delicious coffee freshly brewed and all kinds of ice cream and candy to tempt you. Showtime will be announced loud and clear to get you back to your car in time. So stretch your legs. Come to the snack bar now. They don't really apply to level zero characters. They don't? Okay. All right, so then I won't grab them. I thought that crit might be that extra one. Okay, so here's the regular damage. Uh oh! Say good night, Francis. Oh, that's Chip. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Chip. Suck it, Chip. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, I You're thought I told you. Oh. I'm sorry, sir. This is a private mountain. But I only wanted it. This mountain is reserved for patrons. But, but, but it's I... a supply depot for all sorts of good things, which people can get at the snack bar, like soft drinks, candy bars of all kinds, delicious popcorn, and refreshing ice cream treats. But I am a patron. Well, why didn't you say so? Be our guest. <laughs> You're kind of at a point where you can't really wedge your way in there anymore. You're like, uh, here, boy, here, boy, come, come, here, boy. here, boy, you can do it. Come on. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, may I help you? Uh, I'd like two of those, please. Hot dogs. Yes, sir. And three of those. And one of those. And five bars of these, and a cup of a nice hot liquid. Uh, coffee. Uh, coming right up. Oh, and two bags of those peculiar white coffee material. Uh, you mean our crunchy popcorn. Uh, uh, shall I wrap that for you, sir? Oh, that's all right. My saucer just outside. <laughs> they come from miles to enjoy our intermission. <laughs> So I'm, I'm, I, I'm terribly sorry. Bjorn, you explode, and in your place is a sweet roll. Nice. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, hello there. Give the demonstration of my new invention, the goodies machine. 
The machine turns out delumptious heart doggies one after the other. And thirst quenching sodas also. Gives popcorn of the most tasty kind, plain and buttered. Candy too, crunchy and dandy. Steaming hot coffee and ice cream too. These goodies are at a snack bar just waiting for you. Mmm! 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 Messenger. And do you know how to do that in Facebook? I mean, in fa Facebook, whatever. What the hell? I'm, what the hell? What the hell? At least Facebook is still around. Wow. Years into the <laughs> Why mess with a good thing? Go right? ahead and clip that one, guys. You can send that one to me later, too. Thanks a lot. Um, Rainbows usually have a treasure at the end. Let's follow this one and see if we can find the pot of gold. Brother, I suppose you've come to claim me treasure. Well, we'd like to see the gold first. Ethan, there's better than gold in here, me lad. No, no, just look here, no. Candy, refreshing soft drinks, popcorn, ice cream. Well, that's some treasure, but anyone can buy luscious treats like these at the snack bar. You don't tell me. Uh, do you suppose you could get me a job as a snack bar attendant? brass knuckles he's wearing and uh the the creature just ah. how did the creature do one more time what, one more time no that that was it Like you crave that corn when it's freshly bobbed. You gotta beat it to the box with the butter on the top. Get with it, man. Start strolling down to the sweets that you're rolling. The best in town. Our candy's real gone, if I'm understood. To all you squares, that means the confection is positively delicious. Cork that stuff. Give me five. Let me send you into this nutty jive. <laughs> Shake it on down to this cool snack bar. Come on, Jill, give us a treat. A friendly pepper upper with a tasty beat. Drink Dr. Pepper, Dr. Dr. Pepper, cause it never let you down. Frosty, man, frosty. People, we might be able to take care of that. I understand. I'm going to sing the doom song now. Oh, God. Doom! Doom, 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 doom. Doom, da doom. Doom, da doom, da doom. Doom, da doom. Doom, doom, da doom, doom. Doom, doom. Doom, 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 Music to the ears of the hungry. The sizzle of a mouth-watering hamburger. Fresh, lean beef done to a golden brown. Couched in a soft bun and garnished to taste. Man, that's hunger heaven. And you'll feel like you're heaven sent when you get one at our refreshment stand. Happen, let me see. Is there a deception check for a horse? <laughs> Does a horse have a... Ooh, it's going for the... Like deception for a horse. Yeah, a horse I has got it. deception. <laughs> <laughs> so the horse goes up and you great. see it it's looking a brief second it looks at the plant like maybe you know that's it's something even tastier but then it, it sticks out his tongue and, and it you know pulls oh, back oh, you know. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, have you seen a penis lately testes 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 Loeka. Oh, Lord. oh yeah. Oh, I love you guys. I know. Alrighty, alrighty. So chariot racing. Yeah. The sparkling water in the wrong cup. It would help because if I put this. This has sparkling water and this one has vodka, and I tried to take a sip and it was not a good choice. <laughs> so Chariot racing. We need somebody good at decks. Somebody good at animal handling. 
Is anybody particularly shitty at either of those? Because I have enhance ability, so I can fix that. But I can only fix that once. I just spilled vodka soda all up on my vulva. So I'm gonna <laughs> take a quick second. If That's you don't take horrify. a quick second. However, my animal, animal handling is plus two, and my dex is plus four. And in the meantime, vulva. Yep. Uh, Aurora says her dex is not as good as Pepsi's, and her animal handling is passable. Yeah, my, my animal handling is also a plus two. I'm assuming that Pepsi is the best at dex. Yeah, mine, mine's a plus two. Mine, I have plus two for balls. Got it. So it appears that uh, Pepsi... And this is perfectly, uh, this is perfectly in keeping with the lore. It appears that Pepsi, with Hiccup in her horns, are the best two for someone to do it and somebody to assist. Okay, and Pepsi is so dumb for this, but Pepsi just needs a costume change. It'll take her 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. 30 seconds. Go, go do your costume change, madame. Here, I'll put on your, uh, I'll put on your, your horn, horned head overlay while you go do that. And and while we're doing that, um, what's what's the possibility of sabotage? So, uh, you look around, and there are priests all around. You, uh, it is reasonable to ex expect that they might detect it, but you can try to get away with it. There might be repercussions, obviously, if you are caught cheating in the games. What do you says, mean? Says the woman who is caught cheating and turned into a drug mule by her professor. What do you mean cheating? If we're going off of Greek theme, chariot races weren't just fucking chariot races. They were murder on wheels. <laughs> murder. Why do you think I put Erica on the horse? It's so that I can make her breathe fucking lightning <laughs> and be a cannon. Okay, okay. So, we do if they cheat first, then we cheat. Yeah. Oh, are we cheating? Well, Aurora looks at you and she wants first. she wants to know what cheating means. What do you, what do you mean by that? Win That's by any question. means necessary. What is that? Cheating? Sabotage. See, that's why that's what the thing is. I didn't say cheating. I said sabotage. Oh. And sabotage does not always mean cheating. It just means that we're taking out our opponents. No, that's just a strategic. That's strategy. Yeah. Okay. We're just being strategic. So like you're engaging in strategy. If we're all on the chariot, but only two people are needed, like one person to handle the the horse and one person to navigate, it's expected that the other two people are there to kill the other opponents. Why else are we there? Are we there to kill people? Metaphorically. <laughs> you are there to win a chariot race. You're <laughs> there to kill people. If they try to kill us first, we're definitely going to kill them back. Right, like like blunted yeah. swords and stuff. Like bash them on the head, make them fall. No, if um, they try to kill them, we're going to absolutely kill them. Like if they try to kill us, they're going to fail, and then we're going to kill them like real hard. Like like Ben Hur and shit like that. Like, yeah. That's, like that's ben reasonable. Yeah. I'm uh... <laughs> You know Ben Hur? <laughs> no, I just, I just, I was at a show and they were like, oh, you know, like that classic porno Ben Hur, and so that's what I think of when I hear that. I don't, I'm not familiar with Ben Hur. Actually, I just know the porno reference. That was on <laughs> actual reference. I'm sorry, that's not relevant. That's hilarious, though. <laughs> ben Hur. Oh, God help me. Oh, oh my God. It's a sitcom that never came to be. All <laughs> right, so I'm taking. Oh. Aurora and Erica. Well, Erica might get thrown onto another horse, so let's leave Erica on the battlefield right now. Yeah. I can't believe we have disposable Erica's. Yeah, Erica is, uh, like you said, reduce, reuse, recycle. Yes. Right. And I'm going to put Senzan and Theris next to the high priestess in her pavilion right there. Oh, they fancy, dude. Yeah. Oh, they're in the royal box. They're they're in the royal <laughs> box. Oh, that's where I was last night. Oh. 
Oh, groan. <laughs> and like I said, I'm there on the chariot for apparently no goddamn reason. Uh, All right. I, but you're, my, you're, my, you're, my you're our saboteur. I, I would like ready. everyone to roll initiative, please. I am ready to commit non premeditated murder. Initiative I've ever had. <laughs> I got a 20. 22. 21. 18. Baby. All right. I'm going to let everyone see my rolls. So this is for Vasilios' team. 19 plus 5. Oh, fuck off. Fuck that guy. So Why does he have a plus 5? What a dick. He has really high dexterity. Bro. Oh, <laughs> All right, this is for Manaeus. What the... are you what are you bendy for? Is it the connective tissue disorder? Alright, Manaeus got a twenty-two. Are you giving him shit because he has he might have Ailer Salos? Yes. Oh my god. Rude. Good. I might I also, so And the harpies <laughs> go last. Alright, so it goes. Uh, Vasilios, Menaeus, Pepsi, and then Sibel. So, why don't, do you want me to just say Satter, uh, Minotaur? I have a name, dude. The I other Satters. I can get for some oh. reason. Because... Oh, other, so it's cool for you to talk shit about, the, it's cool for you to just talk about the other Satter like that, but like, I'm your, I'm your Suck Satter. A bag of do, dicks. Do you, do you have a Satter friend? I just can't get the other satyr's name because it's so pretentious and so close it, to every other pretentious sounds, name. It sounds like a place that you would need to keep in mind when getting a vasectomy. <laughs> Watch my Manaeus. <laughs> I just sound like uh, like, oh, yes. you got an infected Manaeus. Do you so need what? me to roll initiative on D&D Beyond or tonight? No, just tell me what it is. I got 21. You got a 21. All right, that's still... Gotten. That is the best you've ever gotten. Uh, and that still makes you second, third, because the Satyr's got 24, the Minotaur's okay. got 22, you got 21, and Sibel got an 11. And what did Erica get? Uh, you want me to roll for Erica? Hold on. Remember, Family. she gets a plus two. She got a nine. <laughs> so, No. That's all we can ask. Right. All right. Obviously, she works better and she goes later. Anyway. None of these <laughs> obstacles, if you can see the red lines, none of these obstacles. Are we supposed to look at Owlbear now? All you can look at Owlbear now. Yeah. All right. We're going to roll. Okay. So none of the obstacles in the red lines. Correct. All right. That, that's not a full sentence. Oh, sorry. None of the <laughs> obstacles outside of the red lines are there. So... You understand? You're gonna no. go in a circle around the track. These boxes. So, so, so they don't exist? Yes, they are not there. Okay. Okay. Well, are we I, running laps? Yeah. Yes, you're That's you're going in laps saying. around the arena it with in your chariot. Make sense for it to be a thing unless we're beating the shit out of each other. No, we're gonna beat the shit out of these. Because <laughs> oh, it's, it's not fucking NASCAR. We're not going that fast. All right. Making a left turn. <laughs> animal handling or dexterity. Base base dexterity modifier or your animal handling. Whichever one is better. This is going to be your first roll, and it is a DC 12. So I'm going to need Pepsi, I guess, to make it with an assist. So you can roll with advantage, since I don't think you need to bother with that. That's 23. All right. And I'll see these loser douchebags. Yep. I was so cool with everyone ahead of the games, because I needed... To be nice to everyone, but oh, like, Vasilios got a nat 20. If I'm heckling people, can that give them disadvantage? Vasilios Not in this can one. Eat my nat no. 20. Well, I mean, you can do something before we move. So, what's going to happen is this is going to determine the first 20, uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, the first 10 spaces, right? Okay. We'll move those 10 spaces, but you guys can take actions while you're doing that. Yeah. So it's going to go, here's, here is uh, the order. It goes 
Other Satter, Minotaurs, Pepsi's team, the Harpy team. Okay? But now, these are the that's the order people are gonna move in. However, the number of spaces you're gonna move is determined by your by your result on this animal handling or dex check. And what did Pepsi just got a 23. Great. All right, so this is the first round. Um, can I distract them? Let's hold tight for a second. Okay. Let me make the rolls. Uh, right, they got a 20 plus 4, so that's going to be 24. Uh, Meneus. There's a lot of dice rolling for me in this. Sorry, guys. That would be 19. And they're not going to do real well. They actually do. So here's what's going to happen. Vasilios' team is going to move uh, 100 feet first. Then Pepsi's team is going to move 100 feet. Then uh, Meneus and Sibel's team are going to move. So does anyone want to do anything when... Uh, Vasilios' team starts to move. Can I do a performance? V Vasilios is, 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 so is Vasilios Meneus? Like, Vasilios is the other satyr. Meneus is the minotaur. m and Okay, okay. Yep. Um. I'm just gonna, I, you know what, I'm gonna stop using their names. I'm gonna just say the satyr team, the minotaur team, and the harpy team. I, I yeah. told you. I got the you. Satter was the one that I couldn't remember the name of. <laughs> got it. I, uh, um, good choice, Seth. Thank you. That makes it actually quite a bit easier. Can I perform? You may. What are you trying to do? Can I unleash? Hey, guys. I bet I can wow people because I have a plus eight. Good performance. So what do you think I should do? Like, should I... Gather everyone in a in a roiling, you know, chant of our national anthem. Should I start stripping things off? Like, how do, like <laughs> you gotta do something that's gonna throw them off their rhythm. Let's, let's throw them off. Like, hey, ho, you're a loser, ho. I don't know. Oh, so gosh, here, let me give you a let me give you a suggestion. So, you... so remind me. So other set other satyrs moved a hundred feet. Minotaurs move. Everybody's gonna move, but they're gonna move first. You guys are gonna move second, because everybody's gonna try to get onto the inside track. Okay. Because right. I I want to do something to the minotaurs. I just want to use my performance ability to try to do a goddamn. Are you going to try Seth. to distract them? Like, say, persuasion yeah, I, or... I, I'd love your insights, Seth. Esquire, I'd love <laughs> to know what your thoughts are. All right. Let me let me share with you what Aurora is going to do first. Oh, yes. Thank you, Aurora. Our, uh, our... She casts a spell. And you hear her whinnying and neighing. And... Uh, she doesn't speak with animals? Yes, she is. And uh, that's going to... I'm going to roll this 20-sided die. That's going to cost... Uh, that's going to cost the Satyr team uh, four of their movement spaces. Instead of, ten, instead of uh, 100, which would be 20 spaces, they're only going to get 16. So she has successfully convinced the horses to slow down. Oh, look how nice she is. Good. Can I perform in such a way that will help her in her endeavors? Uh, well, she's already succeeded, but you can give bardic inspiration to someone if you'd like. Well, she's already succeeded. What do you guys? Do? Um, I will give bardic inspiration. Can I give? I can only give it to one person, right? Per round. But per round. if you want to try to con to persuade somebody, I can say Pepsi starts playing uh, on her. What are you playing? Are you pl of course you're playing your, your I'm hand flute. I'm playing my lead back. I'm playing my <laughs> 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 Alright, 
All right, and uh, give me a persuasion check. Um, I'm gonna say that you, you know you were not successful in persuading the uh, everybody's pretty intent, so you're not the ASMR bag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you you are you're not bad. Like you're you're performing well. It's just that everyone is so intent on the race that you you don't manage to persuade anyone or distract them from the race. Anyone else want to do anything before? Uh, yeah. Remember. Uh, the other two chariots have to move too. So, do you want to hold your action for them, or do you want to keep oh, going yeah, after? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm waiting for the other two chariots. All right. And Aurora's already done her. Is Hiccup going to do anything? Um. So, so the satyrs moved, and then we move, and the other two move. Yep. Oh, um, Mimi, that's a lot. Uh. And we. We only get so sixteen. Far, no one. So far, no one has tried to sabotage. No, because they won the initiative. They're trying to get their horses to go all out. Okay. Um, and by the way, I'm going to draw the finish line right here. There's the finish line behind you. Okay, I don't have anything that will help us out at this point. So I'm not going to do anything. All right. Then... B is you guys. All right, where do you want? Do you want me to move you right? B. So, does anybody want to move for yourself? You guys get uh, twenty movement space, 20, 20 spaces. Do you want to move it, or do you want me to do it? Ah, uh, you do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Sir, why did you not go into the center? I'm. That's why those lines are there. Those are guard okay. guardrails. Because we're like we're we're doing. You're going. You have to do the lap of the of the stadium. Yeah, we're lapping. Like we're doing laps. Oh uh, no! It's I, I. It looked like you took a very long time to get to the, to the inner. Gotcha. Lane. And I was like, what? Why are you, why are you fucking, fucking with us? Um, but then I saw that you got in front of the other guy. <laughs> All right. The Minotaurs are moving now. That's what I was holding my action for. Okay. Um, so I wanted to wait until they started moving. So, like, not before they started moving, but while they were actively moving. Yep. Uh, and then I wanted to use Mage Hand to yank on the reins right by the bridle of their horse and uh, make them crash into the Harpies. Uh, they are two apart, but I will give you a, that's really going to be a, so it's going to be a contest of strength and your mage hand doesn't stand a chance, but I'll, if you roll real high, it works. I mean, you're literally trying to use mage hand to fight against a minotaur. I mean, okay, I'll try. <laughs> All right, give it a shot. Ah. Like, if you get a nat 20, I'll let it happen, but pretty much, nah, it's not gonna no. 12 is not gonna cut it. So, you cast Mage Hand, and you, with all of your might and your mental energy, pull, and, I mean, it's it's a Minotaur, seven and a half feet tall, bulking muscles, holding the reins. It's like you're pulling on, you know, a stone wall. That's why I wanted to pull by the gear. <laughs> Because it's all about location. It is. Uh, he manages to fight you off. I get him next time. Yeah. I I have multiple ways of fucking with them. And the harpies actually managed to surpass. Everybody is now has now surpassed <laughs> poor Vasilios, whose horses don't really want to run so hard for him anymore. On to round two. I'm going to keep the same initiative order. Uh, again, dex or horseman, sh dex or animal handling, whichever one you're better at. I'm assuming Pepsi is getting assisted by Hiccup again, so go ahead and roll with advantage. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I will. I clicked the plus one. 
plus four on dice, right? Not the 18. <laughs> yeah, but she rolled a net one, so roll again. Well, Obviously, you don't want that one. Christ. Ah! I critted twice. I there critted you go. Twice. Okay, but I did crit. I critted. You did crit. You get your you get your crit because it's advantage because you're being assisted. Yeah. All right. I'm not going to make everybody roll. I'm just going to keep the same roll. So this, this time, it is Pepsi's team, the, the other Seder team, the, the Minotaur team, and then the Harpy team. So, does anybody want to take an action before the party moves around the track? Uh, we're right by the corner, right? That is correct. You are, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, eight would get you right here. Uh, and you've still got uh, 12 more. Okay, yeah, then I want to take an action. Okay. Uh, before we run away, yep. uh, I would like to use color spray. Okay. Um, targeting all of the horses behind us. Okay. Uh, hold on. Because I know, I know you guys, and... Guess guess which harpies have counterspell. I gotta figure out how counterspell works though. Yep. What level is color spray? Oh, what level? Yeah. Oh, first level. Yeah, then it automatically succeeds. Yep. Ah, fuck that. So you try to do that, and you force the harpy team to burn a spell slot and counterspell your your uh. Color spray. Hey, good job um, making them burn a fucking spell slot. And it's a higher spell slot, way higher spell slot than color spray. Yeah. Yeah. Color spray, yeah. Dude. Guess what? I can do that four more times. <laughs> uh, I, I would like to. I would like to take um, my pocket sand. Yep. And I'm going to my pocket sand. My pocket sand. Um, and I'm going to have my mage hand spray it in the, uh, the harpy's, um, horse's eyes. All right. Give me a dex check. Uh, what's that? 17? 17 plus... 17 will do uh, it. All right. Okay. I'm going to get... I'm, I'm just going to get her bardic inspiration just for saying the word. In my pocket sand. I'm gonna take half movement from the uh, harpy team this turn. Okay. All right. Anyone else want to take an action before uh, before we start moving, um, or do you want to hold? Am I out of action? You haven't taken one this turn. Oh, can I just? I can give bardic inspiration on every turn, right? Right. As a bonus action, so you can take a regular action and. Do you want to keep performing? Yeah, I want to keep performing. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I would like to keep performing and try to distract, to distract the other teams. But I would like to give Bardic Inspiration. Uh, who wants Bardic Inspiration? Aurora will take it. I will give Bardic Inspiration to Aurora. All right. She is going to hold her action. And uh, go ahead and roll me a performance check to see if you are if you are performing so as to distract the other teams. <laughs> the the, the chariot is jostling. Bumps. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, Aurora's holding her action, so I'm going to move you guys. Uh, I do need to do a one other thing. Oh, I should roll online. Uh, I am giving Bard inspiration to my All girl. All right. Uh, the Minotaur team tries to ram you with their chariot and only rolls a 13 and misses. Uh, you roll a 13, loser. <laughs> Free action. I uh, flip them off. <laughs> I do too. I'm like, hey, I just rolled a 13 and I feel like Hiccup also you. flips them off after seeing Muddy yeah. and, and Bessie flip them <laughs> off. There's 20. All right. Uh, Aurora is looking intently around the corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, what sixteen. Are you 
20 spaces. So you, you get to move 20 spaces each each turn. Oh, shit. That's pretty good, right? Yep. 1920. As they reach that spot behind you, Aurora is going to cast a spell. I don't know what she's going to cast yet, because I'm looking at her character sheet. Hold on. But she has Bardic Inspiration where she does it. She does. Well, thanks for following. Molto grazie. Uh, ooh. All right, uh, you've seen this look in her eye before. She utters something in a guttural language and points her hand at, uh, that is the Vasilios team, right? No, that is the Minotaur team. And she casts Bane. Black bolts of energy fly out from her fingers at, and try to hit all four Minotaurs. Oh, three of them. And let's see. They've got to do charisma saving throws. Oh, they're going to fail badly. Yeah. Oh, uh, 14. Her. Where do I find her spell DC? You cast her people. It should 14. be right on top. So it is a 14. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, unfortunately, Manea saved. And first other Minotaur did not, and the second other Minotaur did not. So uh, only two of the Minotaurs in that chariot will be able to take actions, and that's it. Did anybody else hold an action? No. No. There right. was only three of us. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright. The harpies are coming up right behind. Oh wait, no they're not. Which which chariot got the uh sand? The harpies. Yep. Harpies are back here. Pocket sand. <laughs> Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Alright. So, as we enter the halfway point of the race, the party is ahead by twenty feet, by 10 feet. The Minotaurs are in second place. The Satyr team is behind by about 25 feet, 30 feet. And the Harpies are lagging behind. Are we, we are party? You guys are party. <laughs> We're party. Okay. Yep. So, so the Harpies have sand in their eyes, right? Yep, and they're. You don't have a line of sight on them now. They're behind the pillar. But the other two teams are directly behind you. Mm hmm. Guess what I want to do? I bet you want to do color spray. Yeah, I do. All right, and it automatically affects the number of hit dice, or do we have to save? It, uh. Oh, sorry. I'm clicking on different. Woohoo <laughs> for pocket sand. Thanks, John. <laughs> right? Uh, it automatically affects in ascending order of current hit points. Uh, starting with the lowest current hit points. So how many? How, how many does it, is uh, it going to hit? I'm pulling up. Uh, I'm pulling up. Horse. All right. Uh, these would be. Uh, these would not be war horses. I'll say they're riding horses. Thirty. So, 30 hit points worth of stuff? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, riding horses have doo -doo 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 -doo, 13 hit points. So, there's four horses on each. I'm going to say you can put one of their chair. Do you want to split it up? Oh, it just automatically happens? Yep. All right. So, it looks like all of the Minotaur's horses are blind. <laughs> They were the ones I wanted to take out the most, too. All right. So. Was, uh, that, once again, was that the action for this round, or was that the held action? No, that that's the that action the for this action third for this round. round. Okay. And I flip them off as we zoom away. Uh, anybody else want to take an action before uh, we roll for initiative, um, or roll for uh, animal handling to see who's going to go first? Can I? So is this for I... the same round? This is the third round. 
Can I? Oh, yeah, I would like it? to do something. But... Uh, uh, I'll let her go first. Go ahead. What's Hiccup uh, going to do? I wanted to use um, my uh, Drift Globe uh, to um, cast Daylight <laughs> right in the eyes of the uh, Chariot a A's. Um, so that would be right in the uh, eyes of Vasilios the Satyr. Yeah, I want to cast Daylight right in his eyeballs. How does that work? Do I have to do a save? You are the spellcaster. Tell me. Hey, thanks for the sub. Um, no, there is no, there is no save. It's a 60 foot radius sphere of light spreads out from the point you choose within range. Uh, the sphere is uh, bright light and sheds dim light for an additional 60 feet. And I just choose the point. Um, and yep. It All right. For an hour. Yeah. You just flash bombed him. Like you literally just threw a flash grenade at him. All right. Then let me uh, give me the rolls uh, again for uh, who's no, going to move what? first. And and my can I can I still do something or am I? No, go ahead. Tell me. I just you can or you can hold your action to see what the other teams do. We just did it in the wrong order this time, so yeah. he's like desperately trying to get us back on track. No, no, it's no, okay. No. Like who's who's like gaining on us? So nobody. <laughs> yeah. So just to be clear, let me let me let me paint the picture here. The party is right here. Directly behind you is Chariot C. These are the Minotaurs. All of their horses are blind. Then behind yeah. them, Chariot A, the driver, the satyr, Vasilios, is blind. The uh, way behind you, you can't even see them behind the, the turn of the column in the Colosseum. The Harpy team. I, I can't even hit them, so I don't need to know. Yeah, their, their horses have sand in their eyes. Okay, so the horses on Chariot C, which is the one that's gained on us, is yep. they're blinded. They are blinded. And Chariot A, my, my home slice, yep. can't see much, but his horses are still. His horses are fine, and obviously, you know, one of the other satyrs is reaching forward to grab the reins. Okay, well, I don't want to say that I'm attacking horses. That feels <laughs> really bad. It does. I'm just going to say that I'm going to shoot my crossbow in the way that makes the most sense and said that you can be the monster. I need you to give me a wisdom check. Well, I did roll a 19 to hit. <laughs> And I also rolled a 19. I, I All right. So before you decide a, if you want, if you really want to do that, no one has used deadly force yet. No one is trying to use a weapon to kill someone. This would obviously seriously escalate things and maybe uh, a thing. Okay, but I did roll a really great 19. <laughs> I'm giving you the opportunity to decide I, if you want to take your gun out and shoot somebody I'm, in a game. I'm, <laughs> what can I shoot with the 19 that is going to preserve the piece? Uh, you can try you can try a called shot. I'll, I'll say you can try a called shot at the reins or the axle. Who has taken aggressions against us? Uh, Nobody. Yeah, no one has. I okay, mean, I'm uh, going to take my my great 19 that I rolled and take that out on <laughs> All right. Not a living creature. That makes perfect sense. I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll give you the with the nineteen. I'm trying to figure out a way thematically to make it work. Uh, scoreboard, right? I would say yes, you actually. Is there like a banner hanging above? Like, I'll say you you fire at axle the axle maybe. Car. Yeah, I'm I'm shooting the axle of a car. Like they yep. have to be. Riding a chariot, right? So I'm shooting out like the axle of their chariot. Sure. Let me. I'll Nobody do a dex check. Let me do a dex check to see if they, you know, dodge out of the way. Oop, that should be rolled to everyone. That's gonna be a oh, nineteen plus seven. But tell me they don't die, Seth. Nothing happens. You, you. They manage to jerk the carriage out of the way. Your bolt goes thudding into the into the track. And I'm just like, hey, you guys seem like you're real good at jerking things. Oh. Hey, 
<laughs> really? Really? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fuck, really? The fuck, I do. <laughs> Yeah, really the fuck I do, said. I believe you. Hey, you're really good at jerking things. <laughs> give me a performance check. Oh, uh, I would like to give her advantage by making the foul <laughs> smoke again. Got it. A performance check? Yeah. you said? Okay. <laughs> that is my darling 19. Because <laughs> I have a fucking plus 8. All right. Uh... Yeah, they love it. They, oh, like, oh, they love it. They you, like, I'm, I'm mean to them, and they're like, actually, that's kind of artful. I'm like, I feel offended, but also... You, Pepsi crazy. has never seen uh, a Minotaur Barbarian enter a rage before, until now. <laughs> but she was firing at, at the... I thought she was firing at C, which was directly behind her. No, because they're... Which ones were you firing at? I thought she was firing at the Seder. At the Seder or the Minotaur team? The Minotaur team is directly behind you. The Seder team is 30 feet behind you. 5, 10, I 15, was, 20, 25 I feet. Was definitely, I was going for the C. I was going for the, the C. You are? I, yeah, I figured. Like, I'm so sorry. there is now a uh, enraged okay, barbarian very Minotaur very behind a chariot. You say enraged, I say embarrassed. There you go. All right, now I would like the animal handling check or the dexterity check, please. <laughs> Trying to get you back on track. Squirrel. <laughs> Excellent. All right. No, that's really good. All right, and then Uno. Hold on, I got to... Make this to everyone. This is for Vasilios. That's not going to do it. They're going to be probably last. Hey. This is for Menaeus. And, sorry, the Minotaur team. They're probably going to be second last. And this is for the Harpy team. And they're going to go right after you. So it goes. Your team, Harpies... Uh, Minotaur Sater. I saw. All right. Do you want me to move you twenty still? Yeah. All right. Yeah. As you start to move, uh, uh, uh. what's your armor class, Pepsi? All right, uh, what? 18 what? plus seven. You have been uh, you so an enraged bad. barbarian has thrown a javelin at you. You dig, I've and hurt how much? Uh, let me do that, that would be. Oh, uh, oh, he has started it. Yep, as this happens, uh, a boo and a, a, an uproar goes up from the crowd. This is not something that's supposed to happen. The crowd is is turning on this team badly. Bro? And that would be uh, 10, 10, 10 points of damage. This... Ten, that's like, that's almost a third of my fucking yeah. shit. What an asshole. Yes. I... Okay. Um, can you do it for me? Because I, <laughs> I don't know what, I, I, it's not good. It's not good broadcasting for me to try to figure it out. It's Maybe. all good. I will take care of it um, momentarily. Yeah, so I'm just like... You guys have already wow. taken your action this turn, but go ahead and you can respond. Not so not cool. <laughs> the least of all. You are a fucking fool. Nobody likes you and your parents are disappointed in you. <laughs> a lot. They um, are indeed. Like, a fucking lot. Like, have you <laughs> talked to your mom lately? Have you talked to your dad lately? No? Yeah, there's probably a fucking reason. There's probably a fucking reason for that. Is the song that I just sung. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Can I, can that be silvery barbs? 
Uh, if you would like to react with silver... No, you used your bonus action. Oh, wait, you could do a reaction and a bonus action, right? Yeah, it's a reaction, not a bonus action. Yeah, if you would like to react with silvery barbs, you can retort if you would like, madame. Uh, so I can use silvery barbs? You may. It I don't know that I've ever used it before, so I'm going to just click it. I Let me pull it up, because I'm going to need it too. I'm going into your character sheet too, so I apologize if it gets slow down. Can you just? I I, I gotcha. Thank you. So, uh, how do your silvery barbs work? Like, like thematically, what does it look like when Pepsi casts silvery barbs? Pepsi is a mean girl. <laughs> Pepsi is a cheerleader. Pepsi is very nice, but when Pepsi wants to turn it the fuck on, it's like, hey, your parents are disappointed in you. Your siblings don't look up to you. Everyone you thought you inspired when you were growing up actually is really, like, embarrassed for you. Like, what's wrong with you? I don't know. You don't know. Literally nobody knows. It's just, like, there's something wrong with you and it sucks. And nobody knows what to do about it, at least well you. Holy fuckballs. So you know what just happened when you cast that? It misses you and has disadvantage on its next roll. So I just like hurt myself. Like it, it, it literally. So when it succeeded on its attack roll, you decided to taunt the shit out of it with silvery barbs, and uh, you, the reaction which you take when a creature you can see within sixty feet of yourself succeeds on an attack roll, you magically distract the triggering creature and turn its momentary uncertainty into encouragement for other creatures. The triggering creature must re-roll the d20 and use the lower roll. So I'm going to roll again, so it doesn't automatically miss. But then a different creature you see within range, and you can choose yourself, gets advantage on the next roll. So let's see if it hits you. That's pretty cool. And that's a three. So you actually managed to taunt this Minotaur into missing you. Thank fucking Christ, because I was not about to taunt that Minotaur into me understanding what <laughs> I'm incredibly stoned right now. Who would you like? Who would you like to give uh, uh, advantage Aurora. to? Aurora. Aurora's got no, advantage. Wait. Who needs it? Who needs it? Who needs it? Who's up next? Who won't? Who's going to do something next? that requires it? Because Aurora is the only other physical character. Who's up next? Uh, I will not require it next, so... Alright. And money. Uh, Alright. I hope you, I hope you like it. You don't have to use it. It's okay. Oh, no, I that just it. means I, get, I will change what spell I will use. Alright. So, uh... The Harpies have moved. Chariot C is only going to get third movement because the horses are blind <laughs> and one of the other uh, charioteers grabs this one and it gets half movement two three four five six seven eight nine ten that is the end of turn three unless somebody does something crazy looks like party's gonna win on the next turn so we're gonna enter turn four and see what happens. Does anyone... Uh, let's do the roll first. Give me the roll. Pepsi with advantage. What am I rolling? Initiative? <laughs> Dexterity. Animal handling. Oh, shit. Or, yeah. Dex and... Okay. Fuck me. Okay. Um, <laughs> 22 no, will do it. That was initiative. That's, that's oh, yeah. Disregard, please. Um, oh, beans. It was almost... Did you roll with advantage? Yeah, no. go ahead and roll it again because you had to roll with advantage. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh my god. I saw Aww. shit. Aww. All right, well, that's a nine. I, I so, my dice don't need to be sold. It's all good. All right, so this is the last round. Nine. Let's roll and see what the other folks get. Vasilios team, the other Satter team. Fourteen. 
Oh, he gets like a plus seven. Yep. Super dexterous. And then the Minotaur team. I don't know that's going to matter. Look, I'm a cheerleader. But I'm a cheerleader. But I'm a cheerleader. I'm just like, what up? fucking losers. Hey, guys, look at these fucking losers. All right, so here's the last roll. The last, the last round four is going to be the Harpy team. The... Uh, Satter team, the Minotaur team, and then Pepsi's team. Would would the the Satter team have rolled with disadvantage because he was blinded? Someone else grabbed the reins. They only got half movement, so someone else oh, is holding okay. the reins now. The the Minotaur team definitely should have because the horses are blinded. They're they're only going to get a third movement no matter what. Like okay. I did last round. So. Does anyone want to do anything before we start moving? Uh, can I do anything else? I think I'm stacked, right? Uh, you can keep performing and trying to distract people. Uh, and yeah. Oh my god, I'm gonna keep performing. The it, it, it would be bad form to respond in kind with violence. Yes. You're pretty certain that uh, there will be repercussions for the Minotaur team after this race. Hmm. Like, the crowd has reacted very poorly. You know, you look out of the corner of your eye and you see the Patriarch look down in disapproval. The, the priests and priestesses are all uh, looking askance at them. I know what I want to do. I would like... As... As, because because we're up here, right? Um, I I want to use one of my hexes. Okay, you're about seventy I, feet away from the rest of the crowd, from the rest of the charioteers. Oh, I know it's perfect. <laughs> I would like to use the hex. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way for me to to just have this one show up in the thing. No. Um, it's the Hex Mire. Um, <laughs> so it causes... So as an action, I can transform the ground within 30 feet of where I cast into a murky swamp, which is difficult terrain. Ah, so you're turning the, the track into mud. Yes. And I All want right. to do it behind us. Wait, you know what this calls for? It calls for... Where is it? The Slurpee Circle. The Slurpee Circle. I want to pop just, you know, a casual bog <laughs> in the middle of the track. There you go. The Slurpee Circle. Yep. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think that's just a really fun thing to do. All right. So you all look around and you see Maudit, uh, you know, the, the incense is swirling around her hat and she's just pointing at this place on the track. It starts to like bubble and get mucky and it just turns viscous. Anyone else before we start moving is or holding? Um, I'm going to be like, that could have hit us, you jerk. And I'm going to uh, cast Mind Sliver at the Minotaur, but it's like <laughs> invisible. So no one will know. No one will know you tried to explode his brain. Yeah, it's an intelligence of 14 save. Intelligence 14 save? Got it. Yeah. I don't think... Is there anything you can do? Is there anything you can do? He fails. What happens? Uh, so he takes... Um, uh, four psychic damage, and it's, it's a disorienting spike of psychic energy, so it's supposed to disorient him. So I'm gonna say that knocks him out of rage and flat on his ass behind the chariot. <laughs> anything else? Is there anything I can do? I feel like I've used that. Uh, you're... You're fine. I mean, I think it's probably better spent to concentrate on winning because I think you can win this round. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen only takes to get there. Um, how do I concentrate on winning? Uh, hold your action in case anything happens. Wait, 
so I do still have an extra. I, I still have an action. It's the last turn. So yes, it's the fourth turn. You can do something if you'd like. If you want to continue to perform, perhaps this time will work. <laughs> Yeah, Thunder Wave would probably you might be... Wanna, like, we don't know what else is going to be coming up in terms of the game, so you might want to, like, hold your spells and stuff. I'll hold it. I'll hold, I'll hold my shit. Um, I'm just going to continue to perform to try to distract you. Alright, give me a performance okay. check. Honestly, I just imagine Pepsi sort of, like, flashing the crowd as we go through the finish line. <laughs> yeah, right? that's exactly, like, I, I have a post-it still on my on my monitor that says, don't show your tits. Don't. I remember when you put that there. <laughs> yeah, don't say stupid shit, don't get your tits out. <laughs> I have a post-it, it tells me not to, so I'm not going to. I'm going to tell you, with your 24, you I actually did. managed to subtract, like, a third of movement from the other teams, because you are taunting them appropriately. I am... I'm taunting them. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm not... All right. You know what I'm not doing is I'm Getting not... Getting your tits out? I'm not lyrics to uh, They Might Be Giants. <laughs> <laughs> That's are, are we building a little birdhouse in our soul? <laughs> the nightlight. <laughs> I'll show you. I'll, I'll post it on the screen. Yeah, I do have the birdhouse that is in my soul. What All right. I, I am going to say that this challenge is over, and the team comes around the corner, and as they cross the finish line, they see three other teams mired down in muck and, and bubbling goo. Successful teddies! Tits to the win! And you know what? I am so close to like getting my tits out. Cause Please don't. We'll get I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm just telling you how close we are. Oh. On that note, I think it is. Uh, it's been a long day. I'm gonna call it, and we will proceed next time with the remainder of the first annual Olymp, the first annual uh, Theros Tit Olympics. I don't. I don't know. I don't... Olympics. 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 There you go. Olympics. All right. Uh, I'm going to start with Ella for our confessionals, and then we will call it a night. Where are my confessionals? I, I, There's I, Pepsi. I'm so, I, I'm not <laughs> You're um, so tired. I, I am so fucking tired. I've been up since 3 a.m. I've been waking up at 3 Your outfit is so cute. Oh, is is that the me undies? Yeah. yeah, it's I it, the last one was me undies too. So it's like super cute. It's like just a little onesie. You and, and your uh you and your Halloween you and your I wish Halloween you could... me undies outfit. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I I ordered four new sets of me undies like cute Halloween. Uh, I I don't work for them. <laughs> God, God willing, in creek up rise, I would. But um, no, I do not work for me undies. Oh, thanks, However, my green boy. I did, I've gotten four new sets of Ross and Undies from MeUndies. This is from last year, and it's just like, it's just fun, it's cute. It's I, Halloween crap. It's Halloween crap. I spent $300 today. <laughs> I spent $300 entire dollar, American dollars today on Halloween shit because- And, and how does, how does uh, Pepsi feel about that? <laughs> new dishes and a bunch of new hand towels. They're all in the wash right now. She's <laughs> so sad. Like, it's really cool. There's also, like, some press on nails and um, a little, like, hot chocolate skull thing. She's psyched about all that. Pe Pepsi's just super excited pretty, about her Halloween haul. I got Pepsi it. Pepsi is also really psyched that, like, just, like, she and her friends are, like, hanging out together. And, like, Pepsi really, Pepsi really wanted to ride this one out just trying to play it like close to the shop. Like Pepsi really wanted to be a good a sportsmanship is the word that comes to mind. Pepsi didn't want to like fuck with anyone else. Pepsi didn't want to shit on anyone else. Pepsi wanted everybody else who was in the the game to feel like, look, yes, of cool. <laughs> of cool. I'm sorry. Of course. Yes, it's all cool. We're all in the game together and like it's a thing and like Pepsi just didn't what the heck the game started and then it was like, oh my darlings, my dearests, oh fuck all of you. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so it was like, hey, no, I get it, dude. No, of course. You you have to play the game the way we all have to play the game. But once the game was being played, Pepsi is... I mean, she was a little slow at the game, but she was like, my kanku? How dare. How <laughs> fucking dare, actually. My dearest kanku over here, this one, this darling sweet angel, how the fuck? No, you will not. No, you will not. And then the hell raid upon them as much as she could. And um, that's where Pepsi's at. But elladarling.com. <laughs> uh, God bless your heart. Oh All right. my God. Hiccup confessional. Oh, that's me. Uh, <laughs> those harpy ladies suck. They were mean to me. I just wanted to talk to fellow bird people, and they told me to go away, and that wasn't very nice. So I, um, I threw pocket sand in their horse's eyes, and I don't regret it. And I'll do it again. Anyway, we won. So you know what? Fuck everyone else. We're awesome. What Pepsi said. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Uh, uh, sorry, I went this. I was going to go to Sinzan. Muddy confessional. Uh, yeah. No, Um, this is kind of my shit. I like this. This is fun. Um, Like, we get to... I wouldn't say fight people, but it's kind of like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Consensual bullying? <laughs> yeah. Um, I can't wait to come up with more creative ways to humiliate the other team. <laughs> All right. A hero and a scholar. A hero and a scholar. That's awesome. All right. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Hey. Yes. Where can we find you? Yes. Our commission's open. Gotta mute myself. Uh, yeah. Commissions <laughs> are open. If you like, if you uh have a D and D character, you want art for them, or if you just want art for like a character, or like any sort of like emotes or anything, I do those too. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at myriad underscore x if you want to DM me, or I believe my email is on the screen right now. Uh, and I also, uh, I also stream three days a week. I you should send me that Wednesday, schedule, Wednesday, and I'll Thursday. put it up here too. My schedule is ever, ever changing. Oh, all right. So. I, I, I will say I am. Um, I commissioned Kristen for a really cute, um, uh, a cute thingy of Pepsi, and she made a really fucking amazing one. And I am really excited. It's gonna be so cute. I'm almost done with it. I'm. I was working on it yesterday, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "That's awesome." Your time, darling. Yeah. I'm just so psyched that I get to have your art. I'm so excited. Oh, look at that! Marion made your emotes. Yeah, I made. I made money and emotes. I made my Yay. own emotes too. <laughs> awesome. And I gotta promo my thing. So there's literally only. 25 hours left on my Kickstarter for the Magic the Gathering documentary that we're making. Um, we're going to be live streaming all day tomorrow with, you know, Gavin Very, Sheldon Mennery, uh, most of the Torah, like <coughs> all kinds of fun people from across the world of Magic the Gathering. So, back it, back it. If you're watching <coughs> this and you're my little sub, back it. <laughs> all um, right. Dummy says, Back it. Dami says back it. I love it. All right. Anybody else want to add anything before I have us all wave goodnight? Thank you, Bye. my green boy. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> we will see you all next week with the uh, part two of the first annual Theros Olympic Games. Ooh, Tit Olympics. <laughs> Olympics. Olympics. All right. And. Balls. <laughs> I'm gonna let you get it out now. Go ahead. Before before Balls. I switch the scene. Balls. Balls. <laughs> Kalekas. Kalekas. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>